Hey guys, hey guys, dream message. So let's tap in. So with this particular dream last night, these are the signs that stood out. It was a fire sign Leo energy, a water sign energy, actually a cusp Gemini cancer energy. And you are the fire sign Scorpio waters or Sagittarius energy. Okay. And in the dream, it was basically spilling out a lot of traumas that you may have went through. Um, I was told you came from or you was a part of this brothel called Elvira's house. And in Elvira's house, a lot of mischief, a lot of um prostitution, a lot of drugs, a lot of um, things were done to young children, teenagers. And I have to talk about this. Um, and it took place in Charlotte, North Carolina, okay, in my dream. So I, got, I have to be honest with you. Um, Elvira's house was on West Boulevard, so some of this may resonate with some of you guys. But let's continue with the message. Um, you may have lived a very tumultuous life, you have, maybe you have grown up with no morals, like no guidance. Um, maybe you used to live your life off the whim and you needed structure. I feel like that um, your past haunts you. And I feel like people want to keep you connected to your past so you don't find uh, that love or that partner or that peace in life that you've been looking for. We are all made to be with a particular soulmate. It doesn't matter who you are, what you done went through. Can't nobody tell you or stop you from being with who is meant for you to be with. We all have journeys and all have trials and tribulations and all have stories to tell, right? So regardless of your past, you deserve love. You will receive love, and I have faith in you. Um, in the dream, like I said, it was like you was in competition um, with females that may have looked uh, from social media standards um, like the Barbie doll figures. And the, this particular masculine was stuck on light-skinned women or caramel women that had certain body measurements although this person had feelings for you hidden feelings or maybe he didn't but in a dream it seemed like he only wanted to be with you for like a a, a, a trophy that was one so man, you must have been a very sought out person in your time whatever you was doing because this person was really was really wanting to be with you really felt like that if they got with you they have won some type of prize here okay but they but their main purpose was not to put you in a commitment <clears throat> but just to bag you to say that they got you too but when that happened this person did not expect to fall for you this person had someone on the side that they didn't tell you about. Maybe you fell for this person too. Because you was competing for this person at one time. You may have also knew that he had other lovers. Right? But there's one person in particular that this masculine goes back to. What would be a spouse or a girlfriend that they have breaks with and then they get back together. Something wasn't told, and this person could have misled you and thinking that things was going to be more than what it was. When the dream, like I said, um, there was a family member, a dark-skinned family member that came up with a bob haircut that was teaming up with the other girl, uh, which is the masculine's uh, spouse or girlfriend. And she was like, 
Well, I know you from a virus house, and we know that you had some type of STD. Like somebody said that you had mucus and blood coming out of you. And I felt like that was a lie. And if you did, you may have had a miscarriage. They're not telling you. Or somebody was trying to expose you about some type of venereal. Because I heard, I heard, what is it? VD or some shit like that? I don't know. Because I ain't never had that shit. V, VD or some shit like that? Like you had a vaginal disorder or something. And they said you was bleeding a lot in the dream. I'm like, this must be very significant for somebody. Because it got very detailed in the dream. So somebody, and they said this in front of that masculine. To make him furthermore distance himself from, from you. Okay. Um. I feel like in my dream, you stood up for yourself or whatnot. And even though you had this past, but I don't feel like that you, or maybe you did have it, but God has always vindicated you. And every, the God will vindicate you. I don't know if you had it or not, but this I feel like it was a lie because it was, also, it was a story told by somebody else. So these are lies. That was put on to you, saying that you were sick and you wasn't. And this was another family member that coincided to work with that distorted feminine to bring you down and to bring up your past to make it seem like that you wasn't um, eligible for any type of passionate love to come into your life. I felt like that you had to you have to learn yourself. If you haven't moved away from the situation, you have to grow. You have to learn and leave Everybody alone, go in hermit mode and get to know yourself, love yourself, grow yourself, and watch how God will work for you in your life. I was with that person at one time. If I could change, you can too. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Peace.